Welcome to Premier number 34. And tonight we're going to be moving away from the timeline. And um, I'll just make a note now. There is a link in the comments for a short version of the actual timeline meditation for those who want it. And uh, those who are in the Patreon group will receive that link as well. So what are life values and why are they important? Well, you tend to move towards what you want. If you really want something, then you'll be looking for it. The more you understand what you want, the more you can understand what to look for. So it's a question of consciousness, bringing uh, to your conscious awareness what things are important to you, and then either consciously or subconsciously making plans to move, move towards those things. What we'll be digging into is not only understanding these values or what is important to you, but what order are they important? So the order is very, very important. So you might have three things that you really want, but if you never really make any plans to get to number one, then you'll always feel that something's missing, right? If you always seem to be acquiring your number three on the hit list, but never quite getting that number one, maybe it's just because you're not aware that that's what you really want. Okay, so that's your inter introduction for tonight. Um, we will do the one minute meditation as normal. And then we'll move into a uh, discussion about values and we'll drill down a little bit uh, deeper into how to uh, discover your own personal values. So sit comfortable with your eyes open or closed and we'll just take one minute to stay quiet and calm and practice our detachment meditation. Enable us to live as full a life as you want, okay? No restrictions. So, a topic or a quote that I like to, uh, to introduce is from Napoleon Hill. And I've been showing a few of Napoleon Hill's quotes. And this one I think is really relevant to life values. It goes like this. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in your mind. Weak desire brings weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. The starting point of all achievement is your desire. So, Keeping that in mind, we'll be going through this session talking about how to maximize this driving force, sometimes called a, a cybernetic force. Okay, well, 
We're at session six, and we've done so far as we've looked at why we have a map and what it is. We've looked at modes of thinking. We looked at our belief systems, and we've looked at filters, and we've just finished up our timeline. And now we're going to go into values. And just a quick mention that there are resources, and if you want to just stop this video, you can read these resources up. I won't go over them again in detail. The, the main one I want to point out is that I really appreciate the patrons who have helped uh, supporting this. And as we develop these, these course materials, hopefully in the near future, we could be looking at uh, sessions where we can get together as a group and uh, explore all these different concepts. Again, if you want to contact me or Rose, here are our contact information. And if you want to share with me something about your past and your future uh, goals, that would be fantastic. So please feel free to reach out to me at sdo2015 at protonmail.com. Okay, so we're looking at the internal map reality life values. And so what are values? Now, I, I'd like to have this at the very top because the word values can be interpreted different ways. And if you uh, have a sociology training, then you might interpret the term values in a very specific, uh, more scientific way. So I'm going to address that and talk about how we are referring to, to values. Then we'll talk about the importance of dreaming, why it is important to dream. Then. If you haven't done so, we're going to talk about how to generate a list of values. And, um, you, know, if you, you know, if you don't have that, you need it. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. As a, it's like a map. It's like if you, if you don't know where you want to go, it's going to be hard to tell people how to, how to help you get there. Then uh, once you've got the list, then we've got to work with it a bit. We've got to uh, clean it up a bit. We've got to sort it and then organize it. And there are some issues that can happen with things in our list of, of, uh, of values that can cause some conflicts. Then once we've generated the list and we sorted it and cleaned it up, then we can begin to internalize the list and activate it and call it as something that I like to call it as your hierarchy of values. It's a system, right? It's a value system. It's it will become a really core driving force. And, and I'll mention it again, if you know anyone who's highly successful, they have very specific values in their life that they're following and they're trying to achieve. So some concepts that we'll be working with, I'm going to introduce a concept called crunching up and crunching down. I could not come up with a better phrase. I picked this up from when I was originally studying this material. Um, and I just can't think of a better phrase for it, how to crunch up and crunch down in terms of your value hierarchy. Then we'll talk about uh, lifelong goals. This is kind of tied in with values, but these are things that you've always held, maybe even since as a child, you've had this goal to do something. And your values system should be tied into your lifelong goals and tied into your lifelong script. And to find uh, another topic or an area that I'd like to uh, you know, just talk about and make you aware of, and it's kind of important. Some people have desires that are really trying to move you away from something. You don't want to live something again. You don't want to experience it. You're trying to get away from something. So these desires are really kind of like little pits little pitfalls, little areas that can cause some problems. Okay, so we're going to look at how to make sure all of your uh, values are moving you towards what you want. So what are the values? Well, values are, are really pretty simple at a very, very high level. You can look at this slide here and you can see things like family, health, career, um, wealth, love, you know, friends, you know, wisdom. And these are the overall categories. And I kind of believe that 
if, we, if you look at your list of things you want, they'll tend to fall into these categories. So in terms of crunching up and down, let's start with this. If you think of something like health, you can crunch down into the detail of what health means to you. What does health mean to you? And you crunch down, you go down into the details. Maybe health is uh, uh, related to the food you eat. Maybe health for you is related to the type of exercise that you can do. Maybe health for you is mental. Maybe it's your mental attitude. So when you, when you go up to the very, very top level, health can mean many, many, many things to people. And so when we're generating the list, you might find that you have a very specific item that's crunched way, way, way down, like saying you want to have an organic garden. Well, maybe that can be crunched up, and if you look at it, it really has to do with health, right? Perhaps. Okay, so these desires are can be categorized into a few, maybe a half dozen categories. But... Your values should really be tied into your dreams. When you dream of something that you really want to, to do into the future, or if you dream of something you did in the past, in that dream should be all the things that you really strive for and desire. So again, these, these goals or these values are lifelong. They're things that you will always want and always want into the future. And it is possible, sure, your values can change, and this is why I recommend that you redo your value list periodically, maybe once or twice a year. I do it at least two or three times a year. Just write down what are the things that are of value to me. Has it changed? And this will become very important because everything in your value list should be things that are important, things that matter to you, the things that you must have in your life. Right? And there's no trade-offs. You won't trade off you know, uh, your health for something else. It's very, very important. So these values are the things that you hold to be the most important things in your life. What's important to you? And they're not necessarily what someone else thinks is important. Okay, so we've talked about how your family and friends and your work can affect your, your values and your beliefs. No, this, this is tied in to what you really want in your life. And I'll mention this at this point here, that each of these values, things that are important to you, will generate many, many beliefs about what you need to do to satisfy those values. So it is connected to your belief system. I like to think that your values are the tree and your beliefs are the leaves on the branches. So each branch of your value system can have many, many, many leaves. And each leaf is a belief about what you need to do to feed that branch. So what is it? Well, to, free, to be free to dream, you know, to be that child again. And there's a lot of work. And if you Google the inner child or you search for the inner child, you will find all kinds of information on that. In your inner child is a desire. Maybe as a child you wanted to fly. Maybe as a child you wanted to be a doctor. Maybe as a child you wanted to do whatever. Or you can actualize those things and maybe not do exactly what your childhood dream was, but you can live in it. For instance, if as a child you wanted to be a pilot, and today you know you can't be a pilot, but maybe you can work in the aero industry. Maybe there's a way of participating in that industry uh, and the tourist aspect of the of the of the flying uh, industry, the aeronautics industry. Okay, so we'll talk about that. How to crunch down from a desire into something that's really doable for you. The key is though, you dream. You don't have any restrictions, and think as big as you want. You know, I call it your personal movie. Now. You can take a risk with these and you can communicate your dream to others. And to be aware, yes, I know, people will tend to throw cold water on your dream and say, ah, oh, Steve, you can never do that. But that's okay. You will meet people who will say, hey, I have that dream too. 
or I know who you should talk to. So learn to separate the the no sayers or the no doers, the ones that are naysayers. Separate those out and say, okay, that's interesting. But be attracted to the people when they hear you talk about your dream, they go, wow, I have a dream like that. Or I know who can help you. Go here, talk to this person. So the way to get help with your with your desires, with your dreams, with your values, is to share them openly. And just be aware, yes, you will meet the naysayers, but you know, let them be. They can, they can be as negative as they want, but be attractive to the people who want to help you and help others, okay? And there are there are rewards for meeting your dreams, and it's nice to put rewards associated with your dreams. So how do you generate the list? Well, it's really quite simple. Get a piece of paper, and I say a piece of paper, not a computer screen, a piece of paper and a pencil, and write it down. Now, we've talked about your modes of thinking. When you actually write down your wish list, you are incorporating your your um, your kinesthetic, your feeling, your touch, your writing, you're incorporating your visual, you have to look and visually write it, you're incorporating your um, your, your verbal part of your cortex, and you're actually processing it, and you're more involved. It makes it more of a associated experience. So I want you to be really, really connected to generating this list. And the best way to do that is to take a pencil and a piece of paper and write it by hand, okay? Physically be involved. So when you're generating the list, put on some soft music, get a cup of tea, relax, you know, get some privacy, and get into a really, really calm alpha mode and start writing down anything. Don't worry about the order of them. Don't worry if there's duplicates. Just sit down and do it as soon as you can. Start today or tonight and you know, be flexible, be relaxed, and put no limits. Whatever it is you want out of your life, put it down. Do not judge. Do not judge. Just put it down. And, you know, you might find that some of them are similar. For instance, you might want to have a, um, a BMW and a Mercedes-Benz. That's okay. Put it down. It, don't worry at this point about rationalizing the list. Don't worry about sorting it. We're going to deal with that in the next session. But in this session, all I want you to do is to put them down. There is one caveat. Don't worry about it too much at this point, but just be aware that everything you put down there will have a price tag associated with it. And I've often heard the expression, you can get whatever you want out of your life. Right? You can get all of your desires met if you're willing to pay the price, either before or after. I know we're used to putting things on, on credit cards, and there's a problem if you get something out of your uh, wish list that you want, and you don't pay for it. You pay for it later, but you will pay for it. I like to try to pay for things in advance, and those, that's the reason for that is that if you pay, if you do the hard work, and pay in advance, then when you get it, you own it. You don't own anyone, and there won't be anything to worry about. We'll just go into some of the steps that you will um, go through to just find out what are the key things in your life that you want. You know, what do you want out of your life? And as we mentioned in the main presentation, desires can be categorized under a handful of sort of global topics or what I would call highly crunched up general topics. There's some of the things you want might deal with your family. Some things might deal with health. Some things might deal with the people you love or wanting love in your life. They might be your dreams, okay? Or they could be really crunched down and specific, like wanting a specific type of car or wanting a particular type of job, or wanting to travel to a particular location somewhere on our planet. But the most thing that's in common with your values is that they are lifelong goals, something that you may have always wanted all of your life. So we're going to begin generating this list, and I'd like you to 
take your time with it. Maybe do some tonight or do some each day and review them. Look at the list, but make sure that you write them down. Don't just keep them in your head. Don't put them in a spreadsheet. Use pencil and paper. As I mentioned before, it involves more of your senses if you're actually writing. It's physical. You're, you're involved. You're associated with it. So be free to go back to when you were a child and think of what you want to do into your future. Don't put any restrictions there. Think big. You know, so start with a list, no limits, and start today. But what you, I'd like you to do is each day pull up that list and just look at it for a few minutes. And you might take something off, you might add something. But don't worry about how many things are in it. And don't worry if it's a high level thing such as uh, wanting love in your life, or if it's a specific thing about wanting to be with a particular person. It's okay. Okay, the level of detail, whether it be general or specific, is okay. Just be flexible. Okay, so generate the list and put everything that you can into it. Think of all the possibilities. Think big, and don't don't be restricted by anything that someone else might say or uh, some ideas you might have. You know, so it could be very specific things like, you know, wanting a, a new job or a particular type of job or in a particular type of industry. That's okay. What we'll be doing after we generate the list, we'll be, you know, clumping things together and resorting them so that it's a much more manageable thing. But at this point, exclude nothing from your list, right? And again, take time with it. Allow yourself some time to uh, work with this list and to generate it and to get it as complete as possible. Everything you could possibly want. And then uh, in our next session, we will begin to organize that list. But go for it and enjoy. Enjoy.